kind of these uh, kind of block out uh, sections that we've placed in an, an Unreal Engine. We're kind of going to keep going on with that, adding some more assets like steps. And hopefully today we get on some on some texturing perhaps. Just see how we go with time. And yeah. And yeah, feel free to ask any questions along the way. So yeah, I'll just have another look at what we got going here. I might just get so what I need is some banisters and I need some some sort of just so yeah, some steps. And one thing I might just do quickly is I'll I just want to get rid of the auto exposure. So with Unreal, if you kind of duck down here, it will kind of it will adjust the brightness depending on how where you are in the environment. I can show a good example of it. If I, if I kind of look down for a while, it'll adjust the exposure. But I'm doing the best job showing it off right now. But I just want to turn that off for now. So I've just got a post process volume placed. And I'm gonna to go to Exposure, yeah, that's uh, that's all turned on. Sorry, I did a little bit before the stream started, and just turn that to infinite extend on bound, and I'll make my scene a bit darker. But what I'll do is I'll just come. So my sun settings. Uh, so I'm just going to find the yeah, sunlight intensity. Just crank that up a bit. So yeah, just kind of adjusting for how it got a bit darker after I turned off the, the auto exposure. Alright, cool. So let's find a pure F board. So I might like make this banister here. So let's come back here. Place my 3D cursor there. Actually what I'll do is I'll... Uh, uh, Add modifier screw. I'll do one with I'll do one with uh, four sides. <laughs> and then I'll turn on auto smooth. So much of the similar kind of style modeling as we were doing before, really. I'll just come here and turn on calculate order so the normals come out a bit better quality. So just kind of trying to get it to capture the height of that. Stairway. Get higher. Okay, bring this lower. Uh, then go into mirror tools, Try to get that bending a bit nicer.
It's fun to design some interesting shapes. The normals are flipped at the moment, so let's flip them back over. I think that works pretty well. Deciding whether I want to apply that screw modifier now, because I do want to do some sort of cut in on that flat section. So I'll do so get my cursor in a center position. So I'll put my cursor there. And I'll just center it. I think I've got to make sure is I want to make sure the bottom section of this uh this banister is just a bit thicker than the the base of the staircase, which it is, so that's good. Create a group for this. Let's call it Batister 01. And then I can export that and just get it in engine and see how that feels. Yeah. Let's go and import that. Um, it doesn't look like it imported in the right or well, didn't export properly. I did rearrange some folders, so I'm just going to make sure that's actually getting sent to the right spot. So, accept. And oh, I'm being inconsistent with my. Do lowercase for this project. Grey box banister. Ah, someone's asking how my competition went on the weekend. So for those that missed uh, the last live stream, had a powerlifting competition on the weekend. I actually got second place, which is kind of crazy. I wasn't expecting to place anywhere in the competition. I was kind of just, um, kind of just going to do what I wanted to, you know, because I knew what numbers I wanted to hit for the competition. Um, and yeah, so I kind of just went to the competition to try and hit those numbers, and I did. And yeah, I got second place, which is pretty crazy. So yeah, there's another competition coming up in October, so I want to do that, that, do that one too. So yeah, thanks for asking. Uh, it was an awesome experience, first competition, so it was just like good good environment, good crowd. Everyone's getting behind every lifter that was going on the platform. So yeah, it was, it was, it was good. I had a good time. But I actually let, I lifted less than the person that came third place, but because I was 10 kilos lighter, it worked out with the algorithm that I came second place. So it was kind of based on uh, body weight too, so and that was, it was a good time. Doing some steps now. Apply my array modifier. Ah. I won't do anything too crazy for the steps. It's kind of, it's kind of, the, kind of just steps, really. But I might just add like a little lift on the end there. 
I mean, just give it a bevel. I guess what I should do is match the same width of this segment here. And just thinking, I'll make it a separate asset from this rail, just in case I want to make the staircase as big, you know, I can have control about how big the staircase is going to be. So, do it that way. <clears throat> so, I'll just come here, just make the step a bit thinner. So, what I need now is I need to get the orientation of this stairway. So, what I'll do. So I'll come here, go to edge, and then just cursor mode, and I have to shift it back a little bit just because I'm trying to get a good height for each step, but still about there. And what I might do. So the edge loop there. <clears throat> global mode. And just want to offset every second step by half. So that's what I'm trying to achieve here. So I might see if I can get away with leaving that overhang there. So what I'll do is I'll just group this together. Oh, that's right. I wanted to make sure it actually fit within that, that grid space. So what I'll do... Just kind of trying to think. So I'll select that one and then I'll select all the objects, go to cursor. So yeah, I just want to, I'll just eyeball it. I won't get it exact, but I think as long as that matches the edge of that space, it should be pretty, uh, pretty, um, good snap to the grid uh, well enough. So and what I'll do is, yeah, it's all grouped together. Oh. Move that from the group. Oh, that's together. Where's that pivot? I'll just get that pivot in the same spot, I think. So I'll just add an empty object. And I'll just place that empty. It's going to be a little weird having the pivot so high up relative to where the staircase is. What this means is, is I can pretty much uh, attach it to the railing and then zero out the transforms inside Unreal Engine and then it should be roughly the same position. So that's kind of what my thinking is there. So I'll do that. Oh, I have to name it anything properly first and I'll just call it steps. I'll just do lowercase because that's what I've decided to do for this project. I'm just, I'm just hoping the overhang won't be a problem. And I don't think it should be the. It should get covered up by the, the railing. So yeah, we'll see how we go with that. So what I meant by the pivot point earlier, is I should be able to attach it to the. And I can just. Bring it over like so.
yeah so because it's all starting to the grid it should have you know relatively the same the same spacing between these two segments so i want to make it wider and do that just gonna make that these steps a bit wider Yeah, cool. Spend a little bit of time just placing some assets, just seeing how it feels. I might just See if they have that grid. That one. Show grid. Just hide that. It's just distracting me. So it might be a problem. A bit too steep the steps because I can't even walk up to my character. Well, I think actually these segments in general are a bit too big. So what I might do, like I tested that then. <laughs> so if I can just grab a couple of these, probably like fifty percent too big. So just come here and change scale snap. Just that's not doing what I wanted to do. Um, let's grab these. It should all snap to that. Cool. Figure out what percentage I need to shrink it by. I think I'm not that much. Oh, uh, yeah, probably about 50%. Yeah. I think that was about, was about right. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll come over here. So I'll just have to do all that stuff in here. So this is what the block out phase is good for, just getting all this stuff feeling correct. So from here, then I'll just shrink that by 50%. Just apply the transformations on that, and then I'll export these. That one to can come here and re import those assets. Something wrong with the you know re rescaling things in engine, but you want it roughly the right size when you import it. So just making sure that's correct is important, I think. You can just see they snap together like so. Actually, I do overlap a little bit. Is it worth fixing though? 
So then I made sure they snapped horizontally, but not in the other direction. So I could just eyeball that again, actually. Uh, so I'll just isolate the selection for that. So if we go to increment, absolute grid, and snap it to some sort of grid point. Um, so it's looking to open up. Um, just thinking of the best way to make sure it snaps. Probably not an easy way to do it right now. Might just leave it for now and then come back to this. Technically, if I just align it to one grid space, it should should just snap together, right? So let's try that. Yeah, that works. Cool. So that's what I'll do. So kind of just eyeballed it into position, and then that should just snap together. So I'll just get out of isolated view, and then I'll just export that. And I'll supply that to the scale of it. So it's, just, it's a minor thing, but I just might as well get it right while I'm there. Well, I'm still overlapping a bit. I think that it's snapping. Okay. So go okay. individual origins. And I'll do it this way instead. Now that should be good. Oh, good enough at least. Let's just make sure that they're roughly touching each other. Doing tarball stuff is always a little bit tricky. So as long as blend is grid is trustworthy, it should. Yeah, there we go. Now that works. Let's just dump down on a player. I might just go to the blueprint for the character. And is that slope? Um, I can't find this quickly, I'll probably just leave it for now and kind of see if I can find what it is. I think it's character movement actually. What's the slope angle it was called? Uh, walking max step height. Let's just double that, see what that does. Doesn't feel like it did anything. Uh, maybe let's just go double this one. I think it's one of these ones. There we go. So now we can 
So I might just put the other one back down to what it was before. Just I'm not breaking anything, but we just want to increase that. That walkable angle to something a bit higher so we can actually walk up these steps. Placing these assets. Basically, oh, okay, that's what happened. Attached everything to that one point, so I'll just detach everything from there. I only did that temporarily so I could scale things. Just detach that. Snaps together. this grid works with its relative grid snapping or is it I think it's absolute grid snapping which means I can't just turn it off temporarily but thankfully it looks like our steps line up pretty well with that base there so that's good so that works out well I'm thinking we can just add a banister maybe Inside that, inside that actual railing segment, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I'll just leave it as is for now. And what I'll do is I'll space these out a little more. So I go bounding box, and I want to scale only locations, and I can just scale that out a bit. And just go here, and I just want to grab that. I should move it a little bit. So we've got a little minor movements, but it's all important stuff. Move that there. Still kind of just eyeballing things a bit, but I just want to get it closer to the edge of that that grid space. Still just kind of eyeballing things so they're close enough. But just so it looks more even now. Those banner, those um I don't know what they're called. These things here. <laughs> Wanna make sure that's a bit more even. So I can do one more segment down here. steps cool I can still see auto exposure turning on I'm not sure why you see it goes dark when I go to play mode um Looks like it's all off. I'll just leave it for now. It's not a big deal. That's feeling pretty cool. Start a texture things will start feeling really awesome. Um, so we can grab our banister now. 
I might just change the origin of the banister. Um, so what I'll do is I'll... Yeah, got that on, cool. Snap that there. Just thinking of the correct location for this should be. Um, so what I'm not having in the banister place in a consistent position. So I'm just thinking if I can place it in a clever spot. So where is it now? It's at the base there. Might not be worth over engineering, I reckon. So I might just leave it like that for now. I think I'll just leave it like that. It's like right now everything else plays it based on grid positioning, but the banister doesn't. I'm not sure if that's going to be a problem. Maybe not. I think what I should at least do maybe is to fix a stair rail so that oh, it does actually. Does it? No. So I'll just go here. I'll just place an empty. Sorry, just doing like a lot of management stuff for now, but once you got all these segments figured out, you shouldn't have to do this stuff. So yeah. Just place that there. So so that's in the correct position now. Then the shifting position of this braille. And then that it will shift it a bit but at least it's snapping to the grid now which is a bit nicer and we might have to move these over just a bit That position and paste it here. Should be able to just move that over like that. there and copy it to the banister it should be in line but it looks like it's still overhanging a bit that's fine so I might just make that top bit a bit thicker here and I'll just I'll just take all my points and I'll just drag it out like that you can just see like a bit of the rails clipping through I just want to fix that issue so that's kind of fixed now Cool. Uh, I'll just delete these ones that I placed earlier. So 
So what I can do now... Let's grab all these. What I'll do at some point is offset these steps a little bit so it looks less perfect. I still want to capture that kind of Dark Souls-y vibe. So I think things a little bit less perfect would be nice. Starting to feel pretty cool. So, so still need more segments though. Be nice to have some sort of floor segment I can place. I think it's a default grid is just one meter. Oh, actually, remember it's two meters, so let's try four meters. How big is that? Trying to just put a ground tile. Uh, so someone's asking what games do I play. Um, I think like yeah, like my, my favorite kind of games to play when they're when they're out is like the yeah, Dark Souls and stuff. I like those those sort of experiences. Um, kind of just waiting for uh, their new game, Elden Ring. So that's gonna be cool. Um, but I like Zelda, uh, like stuff like that. Uh, what else? I like a lot of games. Mostly single player games. I don't play a whole lot of multiplayer stuff, really. And maybe except for Rocket League. And then I do, so for multiplayer, I do like, uh, like local multiplayer games, like Smash Bros and Mario Kart, like that kind of stuff. But in terms of like, like League of Legends and things like that, I can't really get into it too much. Um, but yeah, mostly single player stuff I really enjoy. What sort of games do you play? Monster Hunter. <laughs> I haven't played it, but it's good though. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with the floor segment that size for now. I can't remember how big that was though. I just want to put it inside the name. It's eight meters. It's pretty big, so. so eight by eight.
on this one we can put like a tiling texture on it. Like these floating ones that I placed the last session. I'm a bit broken right now to resize the module. So. What I'll do for this segment actually is just let's make it a bit deep. So yeah, I don't encounter that kind of error. Let's pretty cool. I need like a straight section of this pretty much. So I'll get that made. So we can pretty much reuse everything we've made for this one. So I'll just I'll sh press shift D to duplicate it and then I'll rotate it by 90 degrees. And then do this. I'll press shift L instance collection. Make sure I've got anything extra. And then I'll get only the locations, and then I'll snap it like that. And then I'll delete those vertices. And then, um, yeah, delete those vertices. Just extrude it across. You can see the normals are the correct way. Uh, what I need is oh, I haven't got a center point, uh, so let's go. Let's go back. So I'll come back here. I need so I'll add an empty. I'll, I'll go backwards and add an empty. I just need a position there. I just need a center point, pretty much, and then delete that. And I'll make that there straight across the brown move to the caster mirror modifier so that's the right width now and it's similar process I'll shift it to that position delete those vertices straight across and then Mirror modifier. So there's a bit of slack here, but I can approach the ball something in there, I guess. So what I'll do is I go to edit selection. And I'll just add a cube or whatever complicate it. Let's have some copy. And then we'll add 
to the group, so should in theory. Okay, I've actually opened it so if we do that, then go to add to group. It should appear on all of them. Even those ones over here, I think. Or maybe you're not. I think those after, so I don't need too much, but a bit bigger that direction. They're clipping a little bit, but I don't think that's a big deal really. see if that little extra bit looks good on these these ones here um, so what I'll do oops uh, I'll just come over here delete that empty I don't need that anymore then I'll go to edit those groups shift L select all those and then oops wrong button Press Control L, instance collection. Now that all should match that instance. So you can see that it's appeared there now. Oh, so I didn't name it properly. It's always hard for naming modular sections. So I think I kind of named this incorrectly. So it's a rail straight. We'll just give it a number in case we make more variations. So rail straight 01. to that position and mirror it like that so that's good should be good some floating verses let's clean that up So what I'll do is I'll just like this one, and I'll just duplicate that and replace it just because I want the same transforms as that. So Should snap perfectly, but it doesn't look like it is, so I have to investigate that briefly. Yeah, that should be snapping perfectly.
investigate that issue. Go back to Blender. Let's have a look at. So that's that's where the issue is, pretty much. Hopefully snap to the grid. Screech that across. That should be if that's the right setting, so that should be good. That's that one, yeah, that one's the same issue pretty much. Over there. Scooch that across. So that should fix that issue. first <laughs> so I'll just duplicate that see it's offset it a bit it's a bit of a bug probably is it attached to anything oh that's really weird <laughs> get one of them that's weird I've encountered that before I can't remember what the solution was though but if I press control C and control V it doesn't offset it I'm trying to avoid so if I just go Mirror Y, I just want to place some stuff on the other side. So we still got grid snap on, which is good. So I'll just place some stuff there. So. So yeah, see how that happened again? I'll upset it a bit. So, I don't press Control W. I'll just press Control C, Control V. Stupid problem. Let's move that there. Make sure that's the right thickness that segment so you can kind of see that it's not lining up i think this segment needs to be like a meter longer perhaps so it should match the with this segment. Yeah. So I'll do. So a lot of problem, a lot of problem solving with the modular bits of this section. So if I let's get my top down view.
I don't know about the steps, but as long as it matches up with, um, let's say this floor segment, I think it should be good. leave that one for now a lot of problem solving but i think it's just be like a little bit bigger perhaps oops so yeah cool so what i'll do is start placing more of these segments I think what I might do just for this segment, just because there's a bit of a gap there, they won't over engineer the solution, I think. Just for this project, it might just be easier just to scale it out a bit. So you're just coming out of grid snap, or even just go and control G, and then right, turn grid snap back on. And turning off scale snap. Just scaling it out a little bit. Not the prettiest solution, but it might be okay for now. So I'll go back to my reference and see what they kind of have. play mode and see how it's going. So just thinking what other modules we need. We've got most of them now, I think. I just need something along this wall now, I'm thinking. But other than that, I think we're all good. Just drag that one a bit further in. I don't think I even made this thing modular. Or well, it is modular, but already based off the grid but i don't think it's a big deal really i'm not sure how precisely it lines up it's kind of based there so i'm just kind of curious how easy it would be to make it snap to the grid I mean, it did make it snap to the grid, so it seems like it does. <laughs> Can't remember. One week feels like a while. It looks like it does. Yeah, it does, though. Hey? Oh. 
can't remember how I did that last week, but apparently I did do it, so. Gonna start moving on from blocking out to texturing or sculpting and texturing at some point. So we're getting there though. I think we'll just need some wall segments and I think that might do it to be honest. So let's come over here and delete this box brush. Because ideally we don't use the box brush when we have actual modules that we place. Uh, yep, there's a modular environment workflow. So we've only got like a few segments, but we've been able to create uh, all of this with those few segments. It's a bit of an overhang there, but it might be okay. Oh, this is Unreal 4 at the moment. <laughs> I haven't touched 5 at all yet. <laughs> it looks cool though. I'll do just delete this stuff. Uh, I'm not sure to be honest. I'm sure Unreal's got systems for that kind of stuff though. Most game engines got some sort of batching system where it gets drawn in a single draw call. But yeah, I'm not sure to be honest.
Okay, so I might start thinking about this wall here. I'm just going to check out my reference and see what is it going on. Let's get some sort of cutaway, I guess. Kind of like that. So I might get back to Blender and start seeing what I can do for that. So, let's start on something. So I'm just going to try to find the center point of this column here, because that's kind of where... where our module should kind of start. So let's put that 90 degrees. Gonna go back to the real and see. So I reckon I need some sort of corners kind of thing to to kind of cover up the seam. Yeah. So let's go back to Blender. Just place a curve. So I like working with the curves in Blender, they're kind of really good. So that would be like our profile. I was kind of curious about that with doing normal bakes, whether it be obsolete. Um, I think it, I reckon I think it might be one day to be honest, is my, what my thinking is. Because if you can, if you can have so many vertices on screen, you can kind of store the color on those, on those vertices, I guess. You won't need textures per se, if you can render that many vertices. I was kind of thinking if, yeah, if, if you have that high poly count, couldn't you, yeah, couldn't you just store it on the, pixel, on the vertices instead? So I reckon it might be obsolete one day my thinking yes yeah, so I've been I've seen decals being used a lot and yeah yeah I kind of yeah keen to see where it goes so I think it will be obsolete at some point maybe it's just you kind of need something to replace it I guess as well uh, so This one back up because I want to edit this profile but not have to constantly rotate the camera see how it's looking just shift alt z to hide all the overlays Oh yeah, for hard server stuff, yeah, you're probably right there. I can't see it changing a whole lot. But yeah, for rocks, for sure, where it's very dense. I just, I don't see why you can't store. Because I think texture's are the biggest bottleneck in games right now. 
that's that's what adds to the overall size of the game and if we can reduce that somehow by just storing it on vertices instead i think that might be good but i feel like i'm really talking out of my out of my lane here when it comes to <laughs> all this more deeper technical stuff but i feel like things are going to change i reckon as they always do though yeah they do only yeah i do they only do have three channels hey but i don't think it's impossible to have a way around it though right Yeah, that's true. A bit. Bring it down. I should sort that out. Okay. I've got too much reference to do with this bottom bit, but I might just try wing something here. Rotation, oh wait a minute, make it unique, is that why that's playing? That's a 2D curve. We got rotations already? Oh, it does. Okay, so we just need to clear those rotations. And then come to here. Bunch of extra points for no reason, and then I'll come over here.
Duplicate that. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I'll bring this in a bit more actually. So it's hard, hard to explain what I'm doing here because I'm kind of just designing on the fly. So I'll just bring that in a little bit. If I mirror that. So I'll duplicate that. Uh, get back here. Get rid of that. Set to mesh. Straight down. Um, so for importing FBX, I know you can like either import it as a combined mesh or have it import as separate meshes. But for the workflow you're suggesting, I don't think you can work that way. And I don't I don't know that'll be a, probably a good way to work either as well. Having to import like a giant FBX with a bunch of objects. It'd be I think better to work with it all separated probably. Because it can take a while to import objects too, so if you have got a lot of stuff inside there, it should take a while, I think. camera we go into perspective view just offset it a bit just the benefit of using a curve I can keep updating on the fly not really commit too much which is good when you're designing as well <laughs> you know so you can change your mind I'll just get an engine and kind of see how it's feeling. So what I'll do is I'll just shift that pivot point to there. 
Oops. What a death. Well, that's interesting. Oh. It's an update they did with machine tools. So kind of a workaround to that. And so I'll just add a plane in the back there. that as well and then yeah I'll combine this into a group set origin to 3 cursor what I'm going to do is I'll yeah and that it's a bit weird having the pivot point there but what I'll do actually is I'll place an empty and I'll just shift it to that position on the grid Uh, I didn't name it properly, so we'll... time instead of actually just placing it that's where that weird thing when it offsets it so i'll just put control c control v instead and then i'll go wall one <clears throat> so okay so this railing isn't doing exactly what i expected it to do Let's just keep placing this asset across. So it doesn't look like our... Uh, so that's supposed to be like a decoration section. It doesn't look like it's centre properly. So I have to fix that up. Oh my... Sky. Just change the time of day. So it's a bit hard maybe. Just keep triple paying this across.
pretty sure I counted was that. I noticed. Uh, wait, is that pivot point incorrect? Oh, that is incorrect. So I'll just. Uh, okay. So. Not really? That's silly. So I'm just going to make sure that's in the center. It was actually close. I don't know why it looks more outside. I'm real than it. It just gets touching there, so I'll just bring forward that whole segment. That's interesting. These ones are fine. I think maybe I just had that one placed incorrectly. That's just placed incorrectly. Good. Start designing it a bit more. Like a little cutaway thing inside this column here.
be. Oh wait, it didn't work. So let's convert to mesh. And then I'll convert, just inset that a little bit, like so. And then still getting, is that a little? Okay, that's weird. That's a weird bevel. Is that double faces? No, it's not. Okay. I think it's just my profile. Oh, okay, that's why. Probably 0.5. I think that's right. Yeah. Here and shrink this a bit. So I'm just going to boolean this into the column. I think I've gone a bit too big though, hey. That's why it helps have. So the cap it is on, usually I can see what's going on better. Is. Oh, okay, that helps. I can see a bit of AO, so I can actually see that. Kind of gone over a bit there. Uh... How many can we get away with? Let's try that. Shit. Really method works better for uh, non-manifold objects because you can see it's actually open on, on the other side. Pretty sure it's cutting in, right? I can see it in the wireframe, unless maybe it isn't even cutting in. It's not even close enough, silly me. So it's, um, yeah, so quick data. Just come in a little more. We yeah, should be able to just merge it together. And then just delete those billions. It might just help just to make this manifold for now so it doesn't freak out. It's easy to ring out in that section there, but it's not a big deal. It makes one side looks fine, so I can just mirror it. But I think that looks pretty good. You can see it should be a bit lower on this side, so I can just adjust that now. Um, but yeah, I think that's good. So I can apply that. I'll just stash this in case I want to come back to it.
might simplify that design a little bit with this cutaway. So what I might do is I'll just flip this around. So I'll try that before and it didn't work for some reason. I'll try again. I don't know why it didn't work last time. The cursor. Oh, I used 3D cursor. It's global. There we go. That's why it didn't work. It didn't have the right setting on. Um, let's close that. Drag this down a bit. Yeah, I don't know if I'm a fan of this design, so I'm just gonna snap it to that point that I made earlier. And just gonna pull my reference up and see if I can do something cool. See if I can reference. And when in doubt, just kit bash, I think. <laughs> uh, I think some sort of flower ornamental pattern will be good, good in the center there. do. I was, I guess, doing on my own project might fit around the design a little more, but because it's a pretty short, I think, you know, four streams to do something, I might have to just settle with this kind of design. Just trying to think. Yeah, can't really think of anything right now. So... Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's get over here. Oops, what Delete that point. Space. Duplicate, offset, move. I want to inset it, but obviously inset doesn't work with mirror modifier. So what I'll do is just, so just convert it like so. Um, what I'll do is I'll 
Custom tab done other ones as well. Just screwed it backwards. Set that one. Oh, no, I've got the faces here though. Let's just flip them around. Delete that one. Flip back around. Inset that. Should I just drag it up a bit more? Like so. So that's gonna be problematic. I have to go back, I reckon. Let's have a look at that. Because I'm on some sort of molding on the inside here. Um, all these tricky shapes. <laughs> Turn out too good if I because that's, that's what I was thinking to use poly sweeper. Um, so I might approach it differently. Uh, let's go to my um, do history. Let's go back here. I think I might get a clean result if I use a 2D curve. Maybe. Oh. Yeah, so let's convert that again. And then I'll select boundary loops. Select boundary loops. I'll just move it outside a bit and I'll just. And then it should be able to just convert it straight to a curve. Whoops. My 2D curve there. I'll just duplicate that. And then I'll use that as a curve bevel. And I'll just drag this back for now so I can actually see the profile. And I might just see if I've got another curve I can use. I wish it was easier to sort of just store these curves so you can kind of just reuse them later. But fortunately, that isn't the case. Um, I might just make a new one. It's probably easier than to muck around and find an old one that I was using. So, just delete this part of the curb. And I'll use my two views again to sort of kind of edit the profile curve while still visualizing the result. visualize how I'm affecting this curve right now just because of that such different angles so so it might even be worth just getting them roughly in line to kind of get a better visual on how I'm affecting that curve so if I just rotate it like that Oh, what's going on? Yeah, it's really hard to sort of visualize what's going on.
yeah, okay, so now you can kind of see, you can kind of see these two points match up with that, so. It's kind of visual onto the side, just so I know how I'm actually affecting that curve. I been need because I'm still looking at how the balance is kind of going straight through. I'm kind of just wondering if I can delete that extra slack off it. Or the other option is. Let's move it deeper in. And they really come together with all the just the block out assets. We can kind of visualize how it's going to turn out. Once we've got textures and everything on it. But that's most of the block out stuff pretty much figured out, I think. Still things not connecting properly, but it's hard to get everything perfect sometimes.
I think that feels good. I wonder if we can even make that a bit higher. Yeah, I think we can do that. So I guess I won't need that banister there. Bit of a weird intersection, but I don't think it's a big deal. Ideally it connects like that though. <clears throat> I guess like the last section we'd really need would be I guess below these steps here This section could be its own segment as well. plan of how I want to get these sections modular. Got some sort of skirting around here. Um Yeah, so have so similar to the tiling floor sections, I have like a tiling wall section too. So Would it even make sense to have it attached here? I think it might. So if I add that to that.
Uh, so yeah, that's correct. So why don't you just check snapping and how they connect in Blender first. And yeah, they're instanced inside Blender too. Well, that one isn't, but now it is. Oops, press wrong button. So these ones are instanced, so you can see they're updating all of them. And that's an add-on called Group Pro, which helps a lot with this kind of stuff. So if you use Blender, I recommend getting Group Pro. It's awesome. Six meters that segment. I think that's fine. I think it's six. Yeah, I reckon that's okay. Now, what did I call this one? So the names aren't the best, but that's something you can always fix later. I'll wrap up soon. Just gonna place an empty. And that's gonna be my pivot point. In theory, that should have snapped, but for some reason it didn't. So maybe it just shifted when I placed it, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I'd maybe just re-import it. That's probably the more likely scenario. So, I'll just... yeah. Like a half one there, maybe, and then I think that should be its own segment, too. Might leave it there. I think that's like just the last segment I need. I need basically this segment coming around here, I think. So, but yeah, I think that's like that's most of our kit kind of blocked out, I think. And we can start texturing over the next two streams, I think.
but yeah just we've only got these assets here and yeah kind of achieved a lot with them so yeah i'll leave it there today thank you guys for watching um hope to see you guys uh, uh next week and we can start texturing this thing so yeah see you later guys